Hello Ninke Hello. and thank you for accepting the invitation. Could you please tell me since when you have the car and why did you choose it? We have this car since mid-December. Uh, uh, we were on a waiting list so I applied earlier but um, finally we got the car in December. We chose this car because we had a lot of car troubles with our old car and we wanted a new electric car but the electric cars were not uh, ready yet for uh, to go on holiday. We also need like a, a trolley or a caravan behind our car. And the electric ones uh, could not uh, get the weight we want. So we chose this car. Um, so we can also go on vacation with this car. And which car did you have before? We had a Peugeot 308. And we had a lot of car troubles. On, last year on our holiday we had uh, car troubles on the highway with three children. And it was uh, such a big trouble for us. So we never want to have car troubles again. So we just uh, have this lease. So this is not our own car, but we just rent it. So that's really nice. And what are the things you love about this car? Well, it is a brand new car and we never uh, had a brand new car before. So for us, this is so luxurious that you have this whole screen. You can have a, a Apple CarPlay. You have um, uh, heating in the chairs. You know, it's, it's, it, there's a panoramic roof. So it's really luxurious for us. And um, yeah, that's the best thing about this car. It's a really big, you feel really safe in this car as well. It's really big and tough. And with three children, it's yes. fine to to drive around? Yes, well, um, if you need three car seats, then it's uh, too small. But mm -hmm. most cars are too small for three car seats. Yes. But our oldest, uh, he doesn't need a car seat anymore. So then it's fine with three children. And yeah, for the for bigger children, it's, uh, it's fine. Are there also things you don't like about this car? Um, yeah, we also chose this car to uh, lend it to mm -hmm. other people with the system is really nice you you rent this car and you can also uh, lend it to other people and you can uh, get money for that but okay. the whole system the whole app is not working so the whole connection is is pretty bad and uh, lots of people are complaining but it's also a brand new system it's a brand new car so I hope in a year that they have all the, the troubles they have now that they will be fixed so we'll see and do you rent the car to well, others? Well, I tried, I tried, but um, first I had no connection with my app on my phone, okay. so people could not rent my car. Then I had connection, so my mother rented the car. And once she arrived, she should be able to get in the car with her phone, and then they just disappeared. <laughs> oh. So she could not get into the car. So we still use the key, and yeah. So it's not working like 100% with the app, and uh, that's, and that's a shame. And you can rent it per day or per hour? Of yes, who, who per does hour. It? We have now uh, 8 euros per hour mm -hmm. and for a day it's 50 euros. And but it's unlimited kilometers? Yes, unlimited kilometers. Of course, you, you should not be going to, I don't know, <laughs> far, away, yeah. far away. Mm -hmm. there, there's also, I read someone who had problems with this car being like stolen. Oh. So, um, <laughs> so that's a bit tricky as well. Yeah, you have really have to trust the other person. And about the infotainment system, do you use uh, the voice control? I think the name is Frank yeah, or something like that. Okay, Frank is really annoying. Uh, okay. <laughs> but I have the same problems with uh, my uh, iPhone with Siri, so I, I'm just not connecting with voices. <laughs> okay. So Frank, uh, if I if I ask like, uh, please call Raymond or something like. Uh, Hi. This is Frank. Bell Ramon. So he doesn't understand oh. what I'm saying. Maybe in English. Please call Raymond. No, so no. this is just not working. Never. Not working. <laughs> and according to Link and Co, you are able to drive 69 kilometers full electric. Yes. Do you manage to drive? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, you see the kilometers when you uh, load your car okay. with the plug, and that's um, really nice. Um, but when we use car heating or air conditioning or when it's really cold outside, of course, the kilometers are less. But mostly it's 69 kilometers. Yeah. That's, oh. that's pretty, pretty uh, good, pretty accurate.
Yeah. And what are your experience with charging the car? Charging the car is fine. Yeah, we just uh, <coughs> plug it in our normal um, in the garage in a normal mm -hmm. um, electricity. Mm -hmm. We don't have a special charger outside. Okay. But it works fine. It, it's of course it's a little bit slower than when you have a. a special uh, wall box outside mm -hmm. but we, uh, the normal plug is fine you just load it in the night time and then uh, you can use your car electric the next day and how we, long it takes from zero to hundred it takes like eight hours or eight something. hours yeah just overnight and did you try also the fast net tesla supercharger so? is not uh, because this is a plug in uh, hybrids mm -hmm. Fastnet is only for uh, really uh, real electric cars, so when you have like quick chargers. This is only for normal uh, chargers, so not okay. for quick chargers. Is the trunk big enough for you? Yes, the trunk is um, quite big. We, could, we have three children, so yes. we wanted a big trunk. But it's, uh, it's big enough, yes, yes. And do you have tips and tricks to share? Um, like you do something with... The, the car that maybe others are interested in, in no? <laughs> um, well, the tips and tricks, if you want, like if you want this thing open all the time and you have, like you can choose your own color. Um, okay. When you want that every time you should uh, put M1, that is the number one is your settings. So also the, the roof and the things can also, also be in your settings. And also okay. your car, how it's, uh, your seat, how your seat is, um, uh, how you put the sitting seats. position yeah the position yeah. of your seat you should press M and a one and then M1 is your uh, special your own um, settings which is nice so that you always have your same settings yeah so you are the only driver for this car or also your no, husband? my husband is also driving if you live on the same address you can uh, both drive the car Okay. If you rent the car from us, mm -hmm. only the renter can drive the car. Okay. So if you're together, then still only one person can drive the car. Is the only car you have? No, we have a second car. That is a Nissan Leaf. It's electric. Mm -hmm. uh, but that radius is only 100 kilometers. So oh. we needed a car to go like further. further. But for my husband, he sometimes uses this car or his or our electric car. Do you recommend this car to someone else? Yes, I would recommend it. Um, especially when you don't want the whole trouble of owning your own car, paying taxes, paying for yeah. your garage, <laughs> you know, for everything. Then I would really recommend it. How do you find the central console driver display? Is It's easy to use? This display? Yes. Thing? And yeah, in front of you. Oh. Yes, it's easy to use. Um, sometimes it's a bit slow when starting up. Mm -hmm. um, I find it, f uh, for me it's fine. Uh, it really works well. I hear some things on Facebook that some people have really have troubles with it. But for me it works perfect. And also Apple CarPlay. or It's really nice to, to just be able to play your own <laughs> um, music from your phone. Yeah. So you mostly use uh, Apple Play? Yeah, I then. use Apple CarPlay or I use this um, own um, navigation, I, uh, depends. Then uh, thank you very much for your uh, review and uh, your feedback. And yes. don't forget to subscribe, like and comment the video. Thank you very much. Bye bye. See bye you bye. soon.